Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to import a new vertical system, or a geoid file as it's more commonly known, into microsurveys field genius android so to do this you're going to need an internet connection because you're going to be downloading a file here and you're also going to need to create a new project so what i've done is i've launched field genius for android and i'm on my project's main screen here and to begin what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit that new project button in the top right corner here and that's going to bring me to my new project menu and i'm going to have to give this project a name let's just call this my geoid Oh, there we go. Let me retype this. Geoid. And then you can see here I've got distance, angle, coordinate system, all that stuff is set from the previous jobs I've created. And I'll just link in the top right corner to how to create a project in microsurveys field genius for Android. But in this case, I'm only focusing on my vertical system. So you can see here my vertical system, I have ellipsoidal WGS84 selected by default. And if I click this drop down, you can see that I already have one geoid in here, the uh, CGG 2013 for the Yukon territory up here in Canada. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna import my HT2 geoid file for Ontario. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit catalog here next to vertical system. And as you can see, there's a list of a whole bunch of different countries with their respective geoid files. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this magnifying glass to search for Canada. And then you can see here, there is the Canada HT2 regional cutoffs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my HT2 underscore zero dash ON, my HT2 file for Ontario. So I'm just going to hit that little download icon next to it and it'll download it. I got a pretty fast internet connection here. So it took a couple of seconds. And once it's downloaded, if I hit the back arrow and back out of my geoid catalog and go to my vertical system, you can see that I now have a third option here, that ht2-on.bin file, which is my ht2 file for Ontario. So I'm gonna close this vertical system by selecting the Ontario one. And if I create my project, I can now use that geoid file while I'm recording my points. And that is everything for today's video. That is how you import a geoid file into Field Genius for Android. And I will please ask you if you have a moment to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video or anything on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.